What's good with YouTube? You already know Big Flocker with a convex perspective, and I'm smashing, dashing, sliding on through with a little bit of energy. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. And I got an interesting one for you guys right now, man. And I mentioned it in a previous video that's going to be dropping something that's going to make people think. And it's going to make people wonder what the future holds and if this is going to be that significant moment in time where people can say, hey, right there is when things changed. Okay, this incident right now is causing a lot of um, talk on the Internet. And you see the people who are trying to be um, cause dissension. They're trying to be, you know, uh, speak their mind. Some of them are trying to stir the pot. And it's not any of these YouTube channels or, or whatnot. Nobody is doing that. I think most people are taking a line of respect towards all that are involved. But I've read some of the comments and you're seeing people of either they're black, they're North Downs, North Downs, or just rather Mexicanos who are kind of disrespectful towards each other and their opinions and whatnot. And see, I don't know if this is the feeling of people in general behind the walls. Because even some of them claim to be that they were on that yard. And they provided pretty accurate information to tell me that maybe they are actually there. But like I said, this whole incident could trigger a moment in prison gang history to where this is going to determine where the North stand on any future issues and where the North and South stand together on any future issues. Are the North going to get involved now? Now, they got a lot of these people who are harboring animosity towards Mexicans in general just because of the the changes of relationships between the North and South and vices and whatnot on these yards. Now, is that going to carry over into this incident? If it does, and people treat the North Downs as they would any other loss on that yard, as far as any of the blacks have that kind of, uh, you know, disrespectful or hostility intentions, it's going to definitely kick off them, man, and the North will get involved. And that's why I'm saying this could be that moment to where we're going to determine what the future holds behind these walls. You know, Old alliances are no longer there. New alliances are, are built. And if it becomes a race thing as opposed to, hey, that's the South Side or that's the MA's business, and the North stay out of it, or are they going to involve themselves? And I see a lot of people like who want to quickly, you know, disrespect their Asa in general based upon this one individual. And that's why I've said numerous times it's not in the North's interest to involve themselves defending someone based upon their rank or status who is wrong. And they've never done that in the, in, the, in the past unless it was their own kind. And in a sense, the North are in an uncompromising situation because think about it. They had an incident recently on B Yard where the Bices in Sudan was jumped for the North Daniels not knowing what was going on. Now you got an incident here where, like I said, from my understanding, the, the Blacks got the best of the Southsiders. Even though the Southsiders attacked and they had one target in mind, it's my understanding that three Southsiders were actually stabbed and only one black was stabbed. You know, and there's a lot of people who, like I said, they've been, you know, uh, gaining momentum in, in the in the comments and whatnot as far as disrespecting us as a whole based upon this incident. And there's a lot of comments that people are saying, well, we don't give a fuck who they, they are. Ain't no one gonna fucking tell our people what to do. And I get that from the black side. I get that they defended him. And it actually is the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And I've said further that this incident wouldn't have happened if this and metal wouldn't have been drunk getting out of, out of line with individuals who only defend themselves for their self-respect. And see, like I said in the previous video, the South the sued, sued right? Emmy members did ask for the blacks to deal with this dude. They refused. Therefore, that's what fucking brought this whole issue and basically a de declaration of war. Now, can this issue be resolved and it be squashed? I doubt it. There's too many eagles that are now on the table. It's far from over. Now, what's going to happen in the future? Will the North be involved in themselves? And that's what's on everybody's mind because when you have a pact of Mazarasa that to jump for each other and you know, nobody takes that same energy or action. People are going to question why. You know what I'm saying? And the South could actually have, you know, feelings and issues towards the North based upon this if they don't. See, nobody's talking about that this could be the end of all hostilities, not just between black, the Blacks, but also between the Northerners. See, the Northerners could either get involved, 
safe face and you know show people that there's a new relationship that's fucking basically you're not going to be broken by any group or they can say look we're not going to defend you guys based upon the fact that your big homie was wrong and we don't have enough information to jeopardize our own people that's why i said this is going to be a very historical moment in prison gang history what the future leads to this incident very well could lead to the north and south becoming further unified as one even though they keep their titles north and south and the nf keeps their titles but this could pretty much solidify that okay the north and south are 100 percent together no matter what the situation is and so that's where i'm seeing as an outsider from you know watching everything that's going on now like I said, a lot of this is going to be fueled by people who are talking out of turn and whatnot. Like I said, I've seen a lot of comments of people who want to stand up to the, to the South based upon the fact that their this OG from San Diego, this Crip, did nothing wrong. And they want to show that, look, you dudes ain't fucking running us. You guys ain't gods. You're a man just like us. Let's get it cracking. And I've seen those numerous comments on other pages. Now, don't get it misinterpreted, you know, what I'm trying to get at. And it's like the first video, a lot of people didn't do, didn't listen to the follow-up videos I did. So I did a couple follow-up videos to when this incident first arose. And it's not about who's right or wrong when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, the Sudan politics. It comes down to what their big homies tell them. Now, if the big homies tell them that they need to act based upon the fact of what happened, then these Southsiders have no fucking choice because these big homies have that much control over their people. And see, that's what's going to determine with the North Daniels if they involve themselves. And now what people are not talking about is just because this happened just here on Salinas Valley does not mean that this can't be a statewide order amongst the Sudanians to take off on certain groups because of this incident. Like I said in previous videos, it's very rare that you're going to see an metal get taken off on by anybody, any other group. You know what I'm saying? In a great yard, it would happen. And everybody understands those fucking boundaries. But this is someone that's on a main line. This is someone that has his bodyguards, SBs all over him, right? And like I said, most individuals of this man's stature, what I mean by that is those that have status within these organizations usually do not conduct themselves like this at all and anybody that's done time knows what the ramification is if there is some type of incident it doesn't give any man the right to sit there and be disrespectful um pose a threat towards anybody but the reality is this is what the um reaction is supposed to be when it comes to your big homies and see that's why i was taking them back when nothing had happened yet but I found out, like I said, in the next few videos that they were requesting them to deal with them. And see, this is how politics work in prison. Diplomatic relationships are either established or they're hostile. And either the opposing group either deals with what the issue is at hand that's on the table or the group that feels disrespect is going to do it themselves. That's prison politics 101. And like I said, I don't think the North Dale should jump. Because this individual, like I said, did something to a man in another, another prison when he was acting like a borracho, right? Which means drunk. And why is the North going to jeopardize their car, their safety, their freedom, their mainline status for an individual that was acting like that? But, like I said, we don't know. We don't know what, what's been already agreed to within these groups, number one. Number two. The reaction by a lot of people, both black and brown, could cause more dissension and tension to where you never know what someone may do or how they're going to act. Like I said, there's dudes that are that have been commenting on different th pages that are either, you know, black or brown, and they've turned this into a race thing. And some of these individuals are on these yards. And so when they refer to Rasa as one, they're referring to all Rasa. And when they disrespect Rasa, they're disrespecting all Rasa. You know, this could easily have just been a Crip Southsider issue, but that's also going to depend upon the other groups and see, just look into some of the comments of anybody that's dropped a video, especially any channel that's, you know, that's black, that has a prison channel, look into some of the comments and what people are saying, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, if that's the attitude of people as a whole, 
then you must best believe it is going to become a race issue where the North does get involved. And at the end of the day, whatever my opinion is, it's all it is. You know, I'm not involved in this incident. I'm just a, a bystander that's observing this from the outside. But I do tap in with a lot of individuals. I do know what that life's about. I do know what the results could be of these incidents. And right now, like I said, is a lot more significant moment that we've had since the end of all hostilities. I think the only thing that could have been closer to this was the Yogi Pinnell situation. And you got to remember, there's a lot of people who harbor animosity that are, in the system, that are in the system based upon what happened to Yogi. Because the South Siders did involve them in that incident by creating a diversion. You get, see what I'm saying? When that wasn't even their pedal, their funk. And see, that's what I said, man. Like, you never know what's going to happen when it comes to prison politics. You have one, some groups that are functioning under the same discipline and awareness and security. You got another one that has their security, but their discipline doesn't have to be anything more than what they want to do and what they want to show people. So, like I said, you know, I hope that respect you know, uh, for all inmates is able to be exhibited and that you have some convicts that maybe have the right mindset and have the leadership qualities to try to find a way to resolve this to where no future bloodshed has to occur. Um, do I have trust in that? No, I don't. Because everything that I've seen, as far as from my knowledge of how things are, is just, it's just fucking shit ass backwards, basically. And the trust I have in any of these people that are out there is very minimal. You know, you got dudes that do care about making that money and money could be the, the, the main factor of what happens in the future. Money is going to control this whole situation, but you're already hearing blacks talking of more unity. You're already hearing blacks talking about more security. And this may go down as a moment to where when factions start to separate and a new creation of warring factions amongst each other is established. So, like I said, mark my word, this is a very important moment, what happens here on out. And I don't know what's going to happen. I can't tell you what I think the best decision would be. Because I've seen some of these remarks, and in, you know what I'm saying? And if this is how people are acting in prison, and their attitude towards the Rasa in general, then you're going to have a lot of people fucking pissed off. And there's going to be a lot of people willing to go the distance. And that goes both ways, though. You know, there's a lot of individuals that feel a certain way from some of these black factions and black groups. And they're men just like anybody else. And so, like I said, I hope that they can find ways to try to resolve this and not let it become a all-out blitz to where people fucking lose time, people catch, catch the life sentences, people even lose their lives, potentially. You know, what was supposed to be an agreement was to rid these yards of all trash in their eyes, people who've told, people who fucking debriefed, people who went to the other side, people who started SMY gangs. This was the whole purpose because in the system, there is more SMY that are former Norteños and Sureños than there is Norteños and Sureños in the system. That is one of their biggest threats. So, technically, they didn't need all this. And... Are people probably pissed at this same metal for what he did and what he caused? I bet there is a lot of people who feel a certain way about it. But if they're not of status, they got no fucking say to fucking voice their opinion, period. Now, I previously did a video where I talked about in order for the North and South to be, there had to be that one common enemy. There had to be that one moment. Something had to occur that could trigger the purpose and reason for them to be united. And see this could end up being that situation. And that's what people don't realize. Some of the hate that you're seeing. In comments from some of the people. Black and brown. And these people are in prison. Who are commenting some, on some of these videos. I, I notice. And as far as the whole attitude. That I'm hearing from people who have contacts in different prison prisons. There's hostilities over a lot of things. Between Rasa and black as a whole. And this could be the moment where I said in previous videos, if you create a common enemy where the North and South both have, you could see a purpose and reason for them to unite to stand against it, any particular opposition or group. This could be that moment. This is exactly what I was talking about. And some of the attitudes that we've seen and some of the comments and, and whatnot show that this could be true. Now, the only way to combat that is to let individuals with proper leadership skills 
see the people through this and find another enemy that's outside of themselves. See, this is what the prison administration want. They want black and brown in each other's necks. They want war. They want to put people in the shoe. They want to do all that. So if y'all bite into that, that's exactly where it's going to lead every one of you guys that's in leadership position within all these fucking groups. So people got to rethink that, man. But this is the moment I was talking about that could be created and could unify the North and South as one towards all fucking oppositions that stand against them. This has became more about race than it has about the individual group or about the individual. With that said, your boy Flacco, think about what I'm saying. This is a significant moment in time of what the future will hold. We'll see. I'm out.